Excel spin buttons let you increase or decrease values with a simple click, making your spreadsheets more user-friendly and interactive. In this video, I'll show you how to add and customize spin buttons in your worksheets. Let's get started. For example, here we have a customer data table where we want to be able to easily adjust the number of units purchased to calculate what the total cost will be. Instead of manually typing in new values every time we want to test different scenarios, we can add spin buttons to our table to make our data interactive. To insert a spin button, navigate to the developer tab, open the insert dropdown, and select the spin button form control. It looks like two small arrows pointing up and down. Insert the spin button into your table by clicking and dragging to create the button. It doesn't need to be perfect because you can easily resize it to fit inside the cell if needed by dragging the corners. Next, we need to link our spin button to our unit's value. To do this, right click the button, select format control, and enter the cell reference in the cell link box. In our example, this unit sold value is cell D3, so I'm going to enter D3 in the box. You can also set minimum and maximum values here, as well as how much you want each click to increase or decrease the value. I'm going to leave these as is for now and then press OK to save the changes. Click anywhere in the worksheet to unselect the button and then repeat this process for the rest of the rows in your data table. Once you're finished, you can quickly increase or decrease the unit's value by clicking the up and down arrows. Want to see what happens if a customer orders 10 units instead of five, click the up arrow five times and watch your totals recalculate automatically. This is so much faster than manually typing new values each time you want to test different scenarios. Now you know how to add and customize spin buttons in Excel. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.